Fire signs. Welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome, guys. Welcome to a beautiful perception. We shall see, right? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Um, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, and your beautiful comments and all your love and support. Um, you know, I do these readings for you guys. They are free. They're general, of course. Not everybody will resonate. It's not a personal reading. So never make or base your life decisions on a general reading. Always get a personal reading to your situation, to your unique situation. And remember, not all readings are 100% right all the time. You're investing in, you know, a spiritual answer. I do not do readings at this time. Um, I'm still working on seeing when I'm going to do that and make that available. So we shall see. All right. We're going to jump right in um, and see what Mercury, what is the energy that Mercury has everybody going through, especially the fire signs. So what's going on, on there? Mercury takes you back to the past, right? So there could be many people in your life thinking about you as well as you thinking about them. And what happened in your situation? Mercury rules the mind. So we're going back in time to assess, evaluate, and reflect. So let's see what we got going on. Fire signs, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, and Aries. Okay, I will be using several decks. So we're going to start with the Oracle Goddess Guidance Angel Cards. So let's see what we got, fire signs. Let's see. Now, you can have fire, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries anywhere in your chart as uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Okay? One more shuffle. Alright. So, let's see what we got. Okay, we have Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So, instead of American Woman... We just say, medicine woman. <laughs> oh, stay away? I don't know. Sorceress. Wow. Some powerful energy right, right here. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. I feel somebody is so connected. You notice the, the colors are similar. It's like a gray purplish color. Very healing and soothing energy. Somebody here is just manifestation mode. And, um, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Let me hold that thought. Okay. So let's get into the, the Light Seer's deck. And let's see what's going on here. All right. Now, these are not separate energies, but they can be, okay? I'm just throwing it out there and seeing where this could be the same person or this could be two separate individuals. But I'm just throwing it out there like that because we are doing the uh, fire element. So let's see. It's an elements read. Two more shuffles, my guys. One more. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Three of Pentacles. So maybe we're collaborating with someone else as well when it comes to this healing energy um, some of you can work with others um, with healing you could be a uh, healer reiki healer stuff like that and then page of swords so we could be learning of our own gifts here okay so if we're not we need to do more research also, what I'm getting is somebody sees you as somebody that's quite magical, 
you seem to manifest things easily at least that's how they see it you know of course you know someone that is in manifestation mode and manifest manifesting their own life a happy life you know they don't see the struggle so this I feel is definitely somebody watching you through social media okay but also you could be learning your skills you have that ability to manifest what you want and your clear intentions in your life so that's good um, let's get into the Kipper deck it's a fortune telling deck let's see what's going on here medicine woman <laughs> maybe you scare someone and that's why I'm singing it like that because it, it was a get away right medicine woman I mean I know it's American woman but it's like get away <laughs> stay away from me <laughs> I am a little bit sick so if I start to cough I might pause but you guys won't even notice it okay and no it is not the coronavirus it is not that all right let's see what's going on here imprisonment Ugh. okay so somebody maybe somebody needs some healing okay or they're just fearful of your energy that's why maybe that's why I was singing that get away from me <laughs> maybe somebody thinks you do magic <laughs> that could be for for one of you or a, or a few of you let's see what's going on over here main male mm -hmm. somebody's watching I feel now this could be a male that is a sorcerer and manifest his clear intentions or they're just learning about their own abilities but we'll see we'll see all right let's get into it with the island time wellness love oracle deck and further clarify the situation fire signs one more show Soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract. Definitely with the Three of Pentacles, there is a soul contract. I just feel like somebody's fearful. Uh, this is the number 29. 9 and 2 adds up to 11. So it could be Twin Flame as well, but we'll see. But somebody... Now, either this person is fulfilling another contract somewhere, or... This person is just very fearful of your energy because it's 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 out there okay it's different than anybody else's it's high vibed I feel as well but, but they do want to collaborate but they do have fear so let's see let's see what's going on here heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning so hmm now there could have been someone that uh, you separated from that was immature with the page of swords did not have great communication skills again I do feel the energy of someone thinking you do magic okay um, so this person they need they need to learn more they need to do research when it comes to stuff like that now they could have and that's where they picked up <laughs> they did the wrong kind of research but I also feel like this person is still watching you and they do see you as a pretty magical type of being I just keep getting that energy okay so let's see what we get here I can just grab these cards here alright let's get into the Illuminati deck and illuminate this situation so what's going on with this medicine woman or man and the reason why we say woman or man is because tarot is about energies 
you know, I had somebody get upset in the comments because they can't stand when when readers say man or woman when it comes to a let's say the empress card or the emperor card, you know, cuz it could be either situation you embody both masculine and feminine energies. So that's why when we work with tarot, we work with energy, not gender specific. Now, yes, if I definitely feel there's a woman here, I will let you know, or a man. But generally, because it's a general reading and not a personalized reading, we we say man or men or female. Okay. Always take the message as it resonates. Don't focus on the gender. You will know where your energy is because you should know your own energy. All right. If not, it's just not meant for you. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Queen of Wands, yes, magical indeed. I see it. Somebody fears. <laughs> Are you just too damn magical? <laughs> What do you have up your sleeve? You're very mysterious. And you do have a healing energy. Okay? This is fire. Okay? Fire signs. Uh, you could be very attractive, alluring, to a point where it's kind of intimidating. Okay? So I feel like somebody here is your soulmate, but they're quite intimidated. And I feel maybe it's perhaps they haven't delved into that spiritual side of things. Okay, let's see what else we got. Four of Cups. Now, because we do have Heartbroken, this could be the person that had fear and missed the opportunity. Alright. Now, because of Mercury Retrograde, now they're sitting up here thinking about it. Alright. With the imprisonment, it's like the Eight of Swords. Mental imprisonment. And definitely I feel an energy of High Priestess here. And the Four of Cups, this is the hand of the High Priestess. This is a spiritual person, which I can feel heavily here. That it's like you came out of nowhere, you came out of the blue. And there you were, this divine um, soul connection. Alright, let's see here. Prince of Wands. So because of fear, this person could have treated you like you know just another option but they saw your worth but it was like they didn't want to blow your head up or whatever they didn't want to gas you up so they treated you like an option four of swords yeah somebody is definitely thinking about this heavily with the what I call eight of swords here imprisonment somebody needed some healing it's like I said somebody was immature here yeah, the devil. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, somebody here for some of you could want be wanting to free themselves from another connection with the um, Knight of Wands and the devil here. But I definitely feel the energy of somebody here in the past that was just not good. They could be reflecting on this through Mercury Retrograde. This is that type of reading. Now, you could be reflecting yourself, whoever's in this Queen of Wands energy, on this type of person. All right? Because I see you've done a lot of healing here with the Four of Swords, and you are a channel for divine healing. So, they missed the opportunity. You could have dreams also about this person still, for some of you. All right, for some of you, it was like a karmic soulmate, okay, because we do have the devil here and soulmate energy. Now, let's go over here to clarify this main male. For some of you, you know, because it goes, you know, whoever resonates with that energy, you're thinking about maybe 
how you missed an opportunity because you were playing the field. Okay? That's for some of you. Mercury tends to just bring us back to our own faults in, in certain situations. I don't remember if I cut the deck, so let me do that again, I'm sorry. I always do that when I channeling a message and then try to go back to the deck and I'm like, uh, did I cut the deck? One more show. Alright. Let's focus. Let me focus, fire signs. Let me focus. Okay. And definitely, I feel like, obviously, for me, because we have the main male, this is a male and this is a female. That's what I'm feeling. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. This is working on your, yourself and doing research here. Now, somebody could be watching you. Um, at work we have the strength card strength and confidence maybe you've been working on your strength and confidence and somebody sees that we have justice here all right queen of cups so definitely you could be healing at this time or you're just thinking back nine of pentacles so so you're you're in both sides but I also see somebody watching you alright so you could have worked on your strength and confidence after this separation deeply hurt um, you know magical sorceress justice will be had here Queen of Cups, this is self-love with the Nine of Pentacles. This is feeling confident on your own. You do have the strength. That could be something you were working on for a while. Um, working on your coin as well. A lot of self-love and rest here. I'm, I'm getting a sense of beauty sleep. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like there's somebody still thinking about you. So let's see here. Let's get into Divine Legacy of Tarot. Let's see what we got for this first row. Fire signs. One more show. Let's see. What's going on? Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Mm. Yep. You guys definitely went through it. You don't want anything to do with this person with the Nine of Wands. You put a stake in the ground. You're like, stick a fork in me. I'm done. That's what I see here. You're self-protective. Okay. And the reason for that is because you've been through the battle. So, when it comes to a specific energy, you're not going to let it come into your life because you've done a lot of healing here. Um, this is the Hierophant, faith. Alright. So, somebody didn't have faith in this connection. They missed the opportunity, is what I'm seeing here. Alright. Yeah. The uh, Knight of Wands with the Page of Coins. Definitely somebody here was very immature. They didn't feel up to par. Okay, not, not with your energy here. They were running around like a chicken with a head cut off. Mm -hmm. Four of swords, five of pentacles. Okay, this is the healing, the inner child here. This is the healing that you went through, I feel here. But also this person is thinking about, you know, Perhaps either you rejected this person or they rejected you in the past and now they feel rejected. Okay. This person needs a lot of healing. Uh, the devil with the high priestess. Ugh. I do not like that energy. This to me is an energy 
the vampire. This is someone that is highly intuitive, but uses it as malice. Okay? This would be a narcissistic energy to me. Because there are people that are very spiritual and intuitive and see right through you. And they manipulate you because they use their spirituality, their power of intuition for bad. Okay? So this is not a good combo to me. Now, for others of you, you know, now that you've done a lot of healing, what these connections are about, or what this connection was about as well. Okay. But again, that uh, that's on your end, and on the other person's end, they could have had this energy. Okay. So let's see what's going on. The energy of, you know, energy vampire. The person in your past. Let's, or, in, or that's currently surrounding you. So, so some of you could be going through this right now. Because I see healing here with the five, needing to heal the inner child. Some type of codependency here. But I, I really feel like these are thoughts. And that you have healed. Because we do have the nine of wands. All right, so let's go on this second uh, row over here. One more shuffle. But we'll find out. We'll find out a little further. All right, let's see what's going on. Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Yeah. I mean, we have the Seven of Wands over here, and we have the Nine of Wands over here. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. I'm feeling like you don't want to be bothered right now. You're working on yourself. You're working on your gifts. And I just feel like you don't want to be bothered. Ace of Cups. Something's knocking. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. There's something here. This is what I'm saying, okay? This is the cup. Okay, so something is either coming out of the blue here. Okay? For some of you, you thought you missed an opportunity, but it's coming back. Now that you have worked on yourself and your strength and confidence. Somebody's still watching you, but this person could have broke your heart. And now they're thinking, well, maybe I want to work on this now. But I don't think you do with the Seven of Wands. Let's talk about justice. You're at, There's a crossroads here, and I feel that comes with a decision. Okay? Let's talk about Queen of Cups. Yeah. I, I can't make this up. Two of Swords. This is, I, in this situation, I feel this is a decision. It could be something you don't see coming, okay? Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is the healing, because you're in the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, somebody here, you have a choice. You have new love, and you have a past person that's still watching. That That's what I'm, I'm seeing, because we do have heartbreak here. But we also have the Ace of Cups. We have two of Wands with two of Swords. You have justice coming in for whatever happened here. Because I see somebody was very immature. Um, and like I said, I, I don't like this energy for the person in your past. But if it's you with the energy of just being more high vibed and following your intuition and knowing who's who because the high priestess can see the narcissist coming because you've done the work and you healed and you're more intuitive now because I definitely picked that up here your intuition is on point All right. Uh, you'll, you can also be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo I mean, this is a fire sign reading, so there are, you could deal with a, you'd be dealing with a Leo, 
Aries or Sagittarius as well. You know, you could have all these other elements in your chart as well. So that's why, you know, it, because it's general, you can't really pinpoint who's who. But for the main energies, you know, it's the fire signs and uh, Pisces here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So let's see what else we get here. Let's get into my manifest deck. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this first row. What's going on, spirit? Also, somebody here needs to eat more nutritious. Someone is lacking nutrition. You need to drink more water um, as well. Let's talk about this. Um, <laughs> I told you somebody thinks you cast spells. That's what they think. <laughs> I, someone has cast a spell. Love, career, white, black, magic. So for some of you, there is somebody here that does magic. Okay. Uh, maybe you're working on on how to manifest or maybe somebody here is working on some type of secret magic <coughs> <coughs> excuse me all right I'm back had to get a little cough attack there okay so what I was saying was that somebody thinks <laughs> Maybe they fear working with you because they feel like, uh, I don't know, you're too weird, you, you do magic or something. They could think, you know, there is a soul connection here because they, they're they still thinking about you. They could think that you did some type of spell work. But there's a soul connection here. That's God's spell. Not, not, a, not a juju, voodoo spell. Okay. Now, I do feel here, obviously, somebody, if they're in that mindset, they're not awakened. People that do not understand something always have to label it as, as something. So if they don't understand spirituality and you're a very spiritual person, they're going to call you a witch or a, a spellcaster, you know. And it, it might just be that you're just highly spiritual and they just don't understand spirituality, okay. Because a lot of people are like that as well because they're not on that spiritual journey. So somebody here could definitely be not awakened from what I feel here. Uh, let's go to the Four of Cups and the Faith Hierophant. Yeah, when I think of you, I think of forever with you. I want to marry you. Out of my dreams and into my life, my heart and soul screams you are the one. Forever on my mind, wedding, union, going the extra mile. So no matter the fear, I just feel here because I do feel you have a choice with the ace of cups this is surrounding the ace of cups with the strength card the strength card has a depiction of the lion which is divine masculine and the female which to me is the empress and somebody here it's like you came out of nowhere and what did I say that is the hand of the high priestess I might have said that in the water element uh, reading but this is the hand of the high priestess. You came out of nowhere in this person's life. So they could wonder if you did some type of magic or you appeared as if by magic to this person as well. Somebody here. Because I just feel like there's two people here. All right. And they see you as, they feel a connection with you. And that's why maybe perhaps they think you're magic or you do magic. All right, let's talk about this Knight of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm not awakened. Asleep, mental block, limited mindset, oblivious. This is that immature person, Page of Coins, Knight of Wands. This is that, I feel that crossroads, but I feel this is the path you left behind. All right, and now you're on a new journey with justice here. 
Let's talk about this Four of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was a cheater. I cheated because I'm a player. I am a toxic, selfish lover, self-involved, and a taker. And this person needs a lot of healing. Four of Swords is healing. Five of Pentacles is inner childhood wounds, codependencies, addictions with the devil here. Um, a lot of issues here with this person. And I'm curious to see the High Priestess with the Devil. Hearing your voice drives me wild. Telepathy, thoughts face to face while making love. So you guys have some kind of weird energy with this person that played you in the past or, you know, cheated. I don't know what, that's probably why they think you, because I feel you had a soul connection here with this person that cheated on you. Okay, but they did not raise their vibration. They're still the devil or, you know, tied by this energy. And they probably think you cast spells because they heard your voice somehow through telepathy. So you guys are connected in a weird, very weird energy here. <laughs> okay, so that's probably why very odd very strange are you I almost like you guys are not together and you probably want nothing to do with this person but there is a very strange connection between you guys it's dark and light it's but like he's dark and your light it's not like it's a perfect balance between the devil the devil is just the devil but you you might be balanced in the white in the light and dark energies I just don't feel this person is and it's perhaps because they have a ton of karma to sort through this lifetime so at which they might not get to this lifetime okay so let's go to to the other side I know that was it, but that's the energy I'm getting. This is really a, a very, a, a very strange soul soulmate uh, connection. But there is another connection here. So let's see. Mercury retrograde. Let's get one more shuffle, my guides, for this this side. Unforeseen forces that we're not always going to understand okay eight of pentacles can you ever forgive me genuine apology guilt regret please forgive me reaching out again like I said they probably thought you cast a spell and now all of a sudden somebody's been doing a little research and they maybe perhaps you definitely block this person with the nine of wands and the seven of wands you want nothing to do with it you're just working on your coin and this person comes out of the blue talking about please forgive me it is a genuine apology so you know let's talk about the strength with the ace of cups I think of kissing you often crushing on you fantasizing and daydreaming so this could very well be a secret crush okay some of you yes it is the past person that perhaps missed that opportunity and maybe still thinks about coming back around but they have a lot of fear justice but I do feel it's a choice I can't lie to myself anymore I'm thirsty for you craving you missing you fiending burning desire mm -hmm. let's see Queen of Cups, and that's the person that's not awakened. Okay, so Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords. I dream of you constantly. Astral travel, dream connection, 5D visitation, spiritual orgasms, dreams, revelate, dream revelations, soul merging. It's how I know you're the one. Now, you see what I'm saying? There is some type of energy between you guys still. that's lingering in the in a spiritual sense 
okay but you 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 don't you try to block this energy but they feel your energy you you may not feel their energy as much now you could be dreaming about this person who's right next to the queen of cups okay but you're trying to block this energy is what i'm feeling because they were a cheater they were a player nine of pentacles with the three of swords yeah you are faithful empathic loving and giving okay you have healed you don't want to deal with heartbreakers obviously who wants to deal with a heartbreaker okay somebody here was negative now I spoke about this in the water element uh, reading you know pentacles think of it you know it's gold right gold is like a gift right it's something you give as a gift it's um, empathy when you're a giver and you give you know it's something you give yourself you know it's luxury but it's you know it's something that you make manifest from your own hard work steel like the swords any type of steel guns it represents violence somebody that wants to hurt you it represents a uh, negative energy and thoughts right because steel if you think about it they come in a form of guns they come in a form of knives that's all negative energies and that's what this person was but I feel like now you know better all right but also this person this is a this is a dangerous combo when it comes to this person because I feel like this person is locked into your energy somehow but it, it's almost like um, I'm feeling a narcissistic and empath connection but there was like love here on both sides but one person does not express love because of this energy very immature not awakened okay this is horrible energy knight of wands the player page of pentacles someone that has codependent issues doesn't do anything to come out of this lifestyle or my or mindset so whatever traumatic thing happened to this person as a child I mean it really molded them in a way where this person cannot change this is this is their energy okay but what they feel with you is unlike anything they felt with anyone else it's and they just can't let it go especially now through mercury retrograde they're going to be thinking about this heavily and wow I mean it's just it's not good so what I was getting at is the empath and narcissist but they met their match because you're not just an empath you are a healed empath which is a narcissist worse nightmare they cannot trick or manipulate you anymore because you've done the work okay this is why this person doesn't come forward but they still watch and it's because they know it they know it that they cannot fool you they cannot pull the wool over your eyes anymore they think that because you know there was love here so before you might have been blinded to this okay but not anymore and even if they still come to you in your dream state like you try to block it that's what I'm feeling here okay very weird energy though a very uh, it's just such a I don't even know the right words for this connection it, it's 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 a little bit like scary to me only because I don't know this person's full intention you know hopefully they stay away is what I'm feeling here I, I hope 
but they just keep thinking about you. But you know better anyways. When they come back, if they ever come back, you already you already know. Okay? You've I mean you've already blocked this person out of your space, your energy. Well, maybe not your energy, because they're still trying to get in there. And I'm sorry I keep picking up those two cards. I just don't like that combo. But you already know. Okay? Yeah, bottom of the deck. I stalk your social media. Lurking, watching someone from your past. We also have Secret Admirer here. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but I do want to clarify this Ace of Cups. Because I do feel a new energy here. Okay, so let me just make sure for you guys. Since this past person is dominating this reading. Fire sign, what's going on? Yeah, let me know in the comments, my goodness. Some crazy energy. Let's see what's going on with this Ace of Cups strength card. Okay. This could be someone that has taken a long time to come back into your life, or this is a love that you've awaited all your life and it's finally showing up. You know, it could be new love. Yeah destined to meet this is a also a long cycle when it comes to this love slow and steady fixed energy let's see here what's going on here wasn't prepared these cards are a little bent so it's hard to shuffle Yeah, okay. Whew. This is good energy. We got the sun, the happiest card in the deck. So, you're going to be blessed with new love, I feel here, of the light kind. <laughs> the right kind, okay? Not dark energy. Yeah, the fool. The fool with the wheel of fortune and the sun, with the ace of cups, that is a new beginning with someone. Someone you will marry. Like I said, you made yourself seem somehow spiritually or through someone's dreams here um with this divine cup coming in high, the hand of the high priestess okay that's what i feel here so you could definitely have a secret admirer yeah this is a equal giving and receiving someone that is also empathic and giving with the gold here okay this is not stabbing you in the back or you know bad energy Especially with this Knight of Pentacles. This is a giver. The Wheel of Fortune is a lucky um, lucky streak. The Planet of Luck. Jupiter. This could be a message. Okay. Maybe there's someone in your, in your social media account that hits like a lot as well. Or will. Yeah. I, I feel like... This person went through a transformation as well, enlightened. This is a person that is awakened. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see this coming, okay? I, I just don't see, I don't think you see this coming. Now, let's see here. Let's get one more for that. Yeah, this is twin flame energy. So you're, you're not going to know who this is. So whoever's resonating with this whole reading, there's somebody coming into your life slowly, slowly, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night in the deck. And it's going to be your, a long relationship. I feel someone from your past life, because it's destined to meet again, is what I feel here. And you do not see this person coming. Now, let's get a message from Spirit, alright, and let's see, what is their advice here? What do they want you to know here? Sorry, Fire Signs, this was a little crazy of a reading. 
but at least there's good coming out of it, okay? And, you know, I don't know, I would, uh, I don't know what to tell you about this weird spiritual connection you have with this past person. It's definitely a narc. Ugh. I mean, there are people out there that have dated narcissists, right? Like, the narcissist empath connection. But this is not only that. This is having a soul tie with a narcissist. You know, because soulmates, you don't have just one soulmate. Soulmates could be pets, friends, family, past lovers, past life lovers. And it's like that kind of energy. It's ugh. Not cool. One more shuffle, because I lost count, of course. Of course, I know. All right, let's see what's going on here, fire signs. Crazy reading, boy. All right. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. A magnetic and seductive quality so definitely I see that with the Queen of Wands and the medicine woman with the sorceress energy so your energy very very magnetic and it's like your energy draws in all kinds of people is what I'm saying here but you're also drawing in this dark energy and it's not that you're doing it on purpose. It's simply your aura. Because you are confident in your own skin and single. You're empathic. You're loving. You have a like a very purified type of energy. This is tainted energy. Whoever this past person is. So just know that but you're going to attract a good person here in the future so just you know queen of wands again i mean that's that fire in you whether you have it in your sun sign or it's somewhere in your chart okay wow guys N interesting <laughs> let me know what you think of that energy <laughs> in the comments all right not everybody's gonna resonate with that okay um the good thing is there's somebody you don't see coming so this is not for people that have already met somebody here this is has not come into your life yet okay um and uh, we'll see I'll I'll talk to you guys later all right bye bye